Hello guys, this is Snakester95, and we're going to be playing Ring Runner Flight of the Sages, developed by Triple B Titles, Indie Studio. Uh, I was recently emailed about this because someone told me that it's such a great game that they couldn't help but try and promote this game even more. So, I, they sent me a key, and now I'm going to check it out. It's apparently a space RPG shooter game. I don't really know anything about it. This is going to be a first impression. Let's get into it to see what, really what it is for a uh, first look, really. So, let's, let's hop into single player. I guess begin campaign. I could have skipped into the galaxy, but we'll, 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 we'll do the normal stuff. Let's see, should we go for Union? The Union? I don't think so. That'd probably be a bad idea. Probably go for Sage. Runners for, like, veterans, which is probably, like, regular. I don't mind dying. We'll do Sage. Sage is probably the safe bet. I would like to steer it with the keyboard. I would like to aim my ship with the mouse. We'll, mm, we'll do the keyboard. <laughs> I'm really not sure what I'm getting into. So hopefully I didn't just mess it up. I'm kind of surprised by where this is going, considering what I'm expecting the Unity. What is this? Where am I? I was going to ask you that. Who said that? I can't see you. Don't worry, you haven't lost your mind. Well, maybe just that little piece over there. Subject X. They had to make room for me. I'm narrow, you're new narrow HUD, but you can refer to me as I. That's weird. I'm confused. Yes, yes, questions. We'll get to those later. Right now, there are more pressing concerns. You know, the alarm going off. Like what? Like the abandoned ship alarm and the constant sound of explosions. Who's attacking us? How should I know? I was just bored. Yeah, the adults. And the one that decided to come to this unscrupulous place for a bargain bin brain surgery. Was a tattoo or a piercing not exciting enough for you? Okay, I don't remember any of it. Must have been some part. Now follow the dock signs before these bombs void my warranty. Oh wow, someone just left a mercury here. How providential. Maybe it belonged to me. I knew there was something I might tell you. And I'm not just saying that because I'm in your head. You're a pilot. I assume you know how to fly one of these things. Maybe. Just get in and hit the thrust to amnesiac caricature. Trench run. Equipment marked, unique, something, something. Alright. Not the mouse. WASD. Hopefully WSD works. Seems like this ship has an evasive drive. Flick the mouse to gain a burst of speed in that direction. Oh shoot, I just like hurt myself. I am going the wrong way. What, what's going on? Use A and D to start to steer the ship. You can switch between having the keyboard or mouse control and options. I might, I might do that. Yeah, gonna be honest, doing that. Now that I see how it works and whatnot, it seems like it's probably the better idea. Where, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Is it keybinds or did I probably just like looked right over it? And not even I'm trying to find it quick, and I'm just making myself not find it at all. Why are you doing this to me? Mouse button, mouse button four, space. I'm sorry, this is this is all my fault. I'm just not looking. You can change it in the options in game. Didn't they say that? Yeah, there it is. I probably just scrolled over it. I guess keyboard and mouse. Where? I, no, that is right. Or did I just? I I don't know. Direct mouse. What the heck's gesture? That sounds interesting. A mode. Direct mouse. Okay. Let's try that one. Do we got it Yes, we do. We got what we want. Let's go faster. Hold down shift for afterburners. Now, how do I move the ship? Ah! Oh, that seems difficult. Don't it. We're escaping, we're escaping. I saw a red thing on the map. Should I shoot those? Or just like, a, oh, those are turrets. Don't shoot me. That was a regular special ability. Special, but stronger. Strength kill these guys. Oh, no! Oh, oh. oh man, that was. 
was that was probably written too risky. I didn't want to get that thing in. Q and E, what are those how are those gonna work here? Okay, and it's basically like the flick thing they were talking about before. Oh shoot, I pressed Q and that like did a slow-mo and then like a burst. That was well timed. Well that was an odd architectural decision. I think we're safe for now. See that little green dot on the faint ring around your ship? Uh, now there it is. That's a waypoint. Head towards it. You can press tab to bring up the map. An active ma waypoint will appear as a green X on the map. It'll also show you where all the baddies are, unless they're blue, which they probably are. Pressing tab will again hide the map. Convenient, isn't it? Oh shoot, we got some baddies coming. Who are they? A couple of ring runners, reason enough to distrust them. Just get us out of here. Ah! What I don't like is it's kinda like. I'm not sure if I can. I, I, I don't know. I'm like almost confused on how I move and stuff. Because like it's like you have to move and shoot, so you're like. You can't like. Well. Like, they're simultaneous, that's what I mean to say. It's happening at the same time, so it's a little more difficult, if you will. Get to the waypoint. Am I, am I moving? I think I'm moving. Tell me I'm moving. Am I moving? I think I'm moving. Maybe I'm not. I gotta be moving. Oh, I'm not just moving by that. Am I am I doing something wrong? Oh, left shift. Maybe we have to use the afterburners in order to move. That that's probably what it is. Okay. Got a little confused there. I thought the afterburners were just like a boost that you use every now and then. Alright, I gotta shut down for a few minutes to upgrade my firmware. Just hold her steady. Now we're just gonna come into like an asteroid belt. No, not really good. Enemies defeated, structures destroyed, lots of statistics. Bonus failed. Not a scratch, time for turrets. Probably don't get hurt and kill all the turrets. Local turret community is what the mission's called. So, uh, let's get into this. Did you miss me? Uh, I think we have a situation. What the? All of the wide universe, and you fly us straight into a field of turrets? You said to hold her steady. That's what I did. You know, you might just be a tactical genius. I need to come around to me. They'll never suspect we're crazy enough to fly straight through a turret field. But we are, aren't we? You can bet your plex on it. I should probably just keep flying. Don't forget you can hold mouse button 4 and flick the mouse to perform... Evasive maneuvers. Which buttons? Mouse button four. I have left mouse button, right mouse button, middle mouse, and then I have two side buttons. I hope it's one of those. It's not one. Oh, it is one of those. I figured that which. What's my objective? Kill these guys or just no, keep going? I keep switching from turret to turret. That's your targeting line. Ah! This reticule is not just for show. There's a lot of info here. The top left bar in blue represents the target's energy. Bottom left displays heat in red. Top right is shields in green. Bottom right is holes in gray. So remember all that, I don't know. But we've got bars on the edges that respond to our own stuff. Cool. When it's holes, we need to. Why don't we just move on or something? Got weapons bound to right mouse button and left mouse button, and the movement abilities are bound to Q and E. Let's take out a few turrets to get better acquainted. Control, controls not to your liking, you can change them. Blah 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 Yeah, that right mouse button's kind of like a shot, you know. It's a lot more often usable than I feel like I, I should be using it more, that's what I'm trying to say. What's up with this line? Can I go past it? I can't go past it. I'm against that. This shoots farther than other ships. That's that's the most. Bam! I'm taking damage. Made it. I'm so proud of you. Woo! That was quick. I probably could have gotten bonuses that I completely failed. 
Peter, enemy one. Continue. Crazy as we. And some random symbol that I don't know what it is. Okay, looks like we're in the clear. I kind of want to go back and kill more turds. Don't make me zap your brainstem. Nope, those runners are as crazy as we are. They followed us through the turret field. Bogey on R6. Can we outrun them? Well, our conventionals are faster, but we've got no anchor drive. So this will turn into an endurance race. You think we'll run out of fuel before they do? This ship has a thread to core. Its power will replenish infinitely. It's my power supply I'm worried that I'm worried about. Your blood sugar. What do you mean? You see any snacks or front fruit punch in this ship? Nope. Yeah, you need those. I need those. We're gonna have to fight our way out of this one. Okay, just one more question. What the heck is a bogey? Yeah, I have to fight him. As we've previously established. So we're gonna... We're gonna show this guy his boss. Boom! I was gonna say, did I just like win that one? That was, I thought it was like gonna be like a boss fight because it was like a big... A lot bigger than me. Oh, where, where are my allies? Can I go for some allies right about now? Alright, I'm noticing the heat going up. My shield is regenerating, so we got that going you know, uh, I'm just gonna do circles! Circles! Alright, I think we just overheated. Did that dude drop something, or is it just- No, he dropped something. Oh, that's a lot of ships. Oh, I can't. I can't, but I'm gonna die. Oh, my energy's good. I don't know where my hole is. Oh, my energy's my hole, right? That's been wrong. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. We're I don't know. I don't know how I'm doing. I think I'm doing good. Reasons for playing on Sage. Alright, don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Got any ideas? Dying would simply simplify things. That's a bit pessimistic. Trust me. Let's get out of this thing if possible. Probably. Ah, I want to use my booster things. I just die. I think I just died. I don't see myself. A cloaking device on an, an escape capsule. If this was your ship, you must have been into some really shady business. So now what? You see that blue meter on the top left of your HUD? The one labeled energy? Yeah, when it's empty, this capsule turns into a cold coffin. So which one's my hull? The bottom right, I think? Yeah, the one that says hull on it. A little hard to read, but, you know. Yeah, when it's empty, this, yeah, we said that. there's a space fill nearby, so just we go for it. You think we'll find a ship in that trash? If not, we'll fit right in. Alright, we gotta get going. Four bats. I wanna try and get that. Is that something I can get? Let me get that. Oh, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. There we go. Oh, I didn't want to get that. That that hurt. That was a bad idea. But I have a shield, so we're cool. All right, that was easy. Just get out of the zone. Enemies defeated. Ten. Sage multiplier. Words and statistics. I failed every single bonus. Why wouldn't you die? I wonder if that's like if you're able to actually kill every, all of them. Just like that. That's how good I am. I'll have to come back and play it on lower difficulty and see if I can. Or just do more circles like crazy. Long range sensors are picking up a hole on the far side of this trash yard that might be savage of all, but you're not gonna like it. Do we have a choice? Not unless you want to become a permanent addition to this space film. Okay, don't, don't, don't hurt me. I, I wanna go backwards, ease up on the thrust. Or your piloting skills hold speed. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. Can I, can I shoot? I can't shoot. I can't shoot. Yes, I can. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I have a shield. This green circles. Are the, you, you told me this already, Nara. It's cool. to the end of the map as we can. 
I will say, the music in this is pretty peaceful. It gives that spacey feeling. I am enjoying it. As I'm flying around this little escape pod thing. The nice thing about space is that you don't require constant thrust to keep moving. Once we're flying in a direction, you can let go of thrust and just drift. That'll help cut down on energy consumption. This is true, because we're not regen regenerating. Ugh. I was gonna say, does the dampener uh, cost energy? It does not. All right, we gotta get. Yeah, we'll go right. That's probably the better idea. tapped it. Man, those asteroid things in the background are worrying me. I'm like, oh, am I gonna hit them? And it just, like, floats right over me, and I'm all good. No. There we go. A1 Churchill. There she is, an A1 Churchill. A relic from a braver when men explore the stars and glorify trash cans. You can only find these in museums and junkyards. Well, we're in a junkyard, so... Look, it's got a bumper sticker. It reads, my other ship is a coffin. How'd they know? I should probably float back on over to that and get in it. I'm just gonna float into it. It's gonna, like, blow up. Bam! That was kinda right. It didn't blow up, but it looked like it. Alright, we have no energy. Am I just gonna float? Yep. The ship's engines seem to be busted. The engines are fine, it's just completely out of energy. Oh good. Worry not, friend. One of the only CIR laws that runners actually follow is that every ship has to have two power cores. If you ran out of energy in a ring, you could cause an anchor space collision that would swipe would wipe out the surrounding galaxy. Even this old church has two power cores. Blah blah blah. Alright, cool. Got the core up. to the other side and listen to more peaceful music as we float along. Make sure to use our afterburns. This thing is slow enough as it is. I don't want to. I just want to fly. What else if I go out here? They're going to be like, hey, it's bad. I don't know. No, that make sense. I do like how they gave uh, the narrow dude a personality. I think it's interesting. Both precise and disarming. That is pretty cool, too, that they're having a conversation where it doesn't stop me. They're just kind of having their own conversation while I'm floating along. And, I mean, it's. I mean, I probably won't catch every detail, maybe. Eh, no, I was reading it fine. As long as they're not, like, you know, talking in the middle of a crazy battle where I'm doing circles and stuff. Change of plans. Actually go across the thing. I'm part of your brain now. You gotta learn to trust me. Just pretend you had a change of mind. Let's look at the map. Where, where does he want me to go? Oh, yeah, completely. Thanks. You could just tell me when I was almost across the map. You gotta tell me when I'm, like, across the map. And I have to go completely across the map again. Okay, let's test some of this stuff. It looks like a photocaster is bound to left mouse button. That should still work. Not sure if any of these vintage rockets will fire, though. They've been aging on the rack like wine for God knows how long. Only one way to find out. Try pressing Q. Pressing Q. It works. Oh, that was pretty cool. What the heck was that? Well, at least we know the rockets still work. The docking clamps didn't release, though. Must be rusted. I didn't know things could rust in space. Well, aren't you a scientist? Just keep flying toward the waypoint while I figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, it does work. We do have our afterburner. You see, this is a tutorial. Keeping a little light, little little humor, you know. And they're teaching you. It doesn't really feel like it's teaching, but it, I don't know. Not like, you know, in like a tutorial, it's like, all right, press W to move forward. That's not how they're completely doing this. I mean, they are to some extent, but they're like lighting you know, up. Like, it's a little more subtle. That's how you do a tutorial. All right. The ship must have belonged to a century, and because it looks like the docking clamps were rigged not to release on purpose. A pretty reckless way to get a boost of speed. Still, I suppose it's effective. Leave that bound to Q and keep just in case we need to hold. Try using right mouse button this time. Alright, that, that was a rocket. Nice, we didn't blow up. Yeah, I can rig these things to fire impacts. Pew, 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 pew. Let's 
blow up some of those uh, supply thingies. I also forgot. I keep forgetting not to just use W and to actually use other stuff too. Probably get a bonus if I blow up all of them. But you know what we're not gonna do? Blow up all of them. I should probably not run right into that. Cause that that'd be bad. That'd be bad. Alright. Let's, let's get to the end of this objective. Halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. You know what we are? Halfway there. I probably use the brick a lot better than I currently am. But I suppose this works. Whatever gets me through safely. Okay, got it. He should fire a salvo of four longbow rockets. Try it out. Bam. Oh, that's it. That's how we do it. Wonderful. All these weapons are working. You see that box over there? Just blow it up. Gently destroy it. Gently. Not not hard or anything, or recklessly, or just... I don't know. Whatever. It works. I said gently. The warhead is leaking now. Or maybe it was leaking in the first place. Either way, it should be safe. Let's go get it. I'm get me a warhead. Cause... Why not? Bam. We got haste. Some sort of upgrade thing here. Space trash complete. Yeah. I got some plex. I uh, completed one bonus. That's how I do it. Apparently I did. I, I don't know. It doesn't say I did. But it said I did up here, didn't it? Bonuses completed. One out of five. I think I got some. Spe did I get something because I completed it? Or, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what's the bonus. That I completed. I'm not sure. Well, anyway, this I've been playing for a little bit, and that is Ring Runner: Flight of the Sages, developed by Triple B Titles. I got that right? Did I get that right? I hope I got that right. Um, so far, it, it seems pretty neat. It's definitely keeping a light attitude on the game, which is good. I like having the narrow part of my brain. It's that's keeping it comical. Uh, I, I don't really. I'm curious if I'll learn more about what's going on here. Like, I was just on the ship. Now I have this narrow thing in my brain. It seems like I was kind of kidnapped and, like, had some amnesia thing going on. I don't know. And I'm still able to fly this thing. So. Does that mean I'm a ring runner or something? Like, what's going on in this galaxy? As we can tell, I am sort of learning a story. It's still very early in the game, so there's still a lot more to learn. I will be doing a video of a review of this game when I do complete it. I may stream some of it, we'll see. But I do like where it's going so far. And with the whole what you saw at the end where I got the warhead and it gave me haste, I guess that's going to add to the RPG element of it, which sounds good. I also see that this is supposedly multiplayer, but it's grayed out. I'm not sure if, that's, if there's a reason for that, or maybe I have to play more of the single player before I get to it, we'll see. If, if I can play multiplayer, that does sound pretty cool. I wouldn't mind uh, going online. I don't know how it works. Maybe I'm going to be like trashing other ships, doing circles around them, because circles. So, uh, yeah. This is Ring Runner, as I have said. Ring Runner Flight of the Sage. Thank you guys for watching. This is my first look on it. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Snakes95, checking out.